Uh, hosting a party, as I have learned time and time again, yeah. can require a lot of planning and work. You don't like the work, huh? <laughs> <laughs> or you can take the easy route, and that's what our own Tim Ryan prefers. You got some expert advice. Spring is the perfect time for some impromptu entertaining. Danielle Rollins, a uh, native of Dallas, now lives in Atlanta, but you still got the southern flair for entertaining. I do. And, and the book, Soiree, which has some simple, very elegant ideas for entertainment. Very elegant, very easy, very simple. I like parties that get you out of the kitchen mm -hmm. and interacting with your guests so you can have fun, too. I also like things that are affordable, simple, easy to do. And One trip to the grocery store. Right, and this is a great idea. I mean, who would have thought an outdoor pizza party, but this is terrific. It is, and pizza is something everyone likes. If you're bold and you want to make it at home, I have recipes on the website. Or you can just do simple store-bought pizzas. Yeah. You can even have them delivered to your door. It's not what you serve, it's how you serve it. And putting them on these pizza peels, having one long table where everybody gets to eat together, right. just pass them right down, and who doesn't like pizza? And you said the secret, if you're, for example, if you go and buy one at the store, yeah, is don't necessarily follow the directions that say 400 degrees. Turn it up as hot as you can. Turn your oven up as hot as you can for at least an hour before and get that oven really good and hot and then put your pizza in. If you have a pizza stone, use it, mm -hmm. or just use simple trays. Put them in and make them really crispy on the bottom. Terrific ideas. Now, uh, we're gonna, and we've got a salad we're gonna work on here in just a second, but uh, let's talk about decorating, because this is kind of multi-purpose decorating you're doing here for an outdoor party. It is. Flowers don't have to be flowers. Pots of herbs are simple. They're easy. You can stick them straight in the ground afterwards or put them on your windowsill in the kitchen and enjoy them. This is a tomato plant that I made a little trellis. Tied them up, pretty, easy, and elegant. And they go right in the garden after the party's over. Easy. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk about this salad. Once again, simple, some simple ingredients, some fresh ingredients. This is a, a little arugula salad dressed simply with really good olive oil, balsamic vinegar, a little dusting of salt and pepper, and an easy way to dress up your salads, and it makes everybody think you're very gourmet, just shave in long peels of parmesan okay that really does make a, a, a total difference because it looks really beautiful and elegant okay so we've got the party ready to go now at the end of the day folks are going to are hankering for some kind of uh, dessert i have a great dessert this is a great one i love this one and i'm going to make them for you herb and fruit popsicles and we're going to top it with a little bit of prosecco if you insist i do <laughs> And the nice thing about this is it's reminiscent of childhood. It's pretty, it's easy, and I love things that get people talking. And nothing's more festive than fruit popsicles in Prosecco into the night. That is a ton of fun. The sun goes down, the lights come up, and uh, you've got a, a, an elegant but very simple and fun evening. Absolutely. And just don't drip on yourself. We've got the uh, recipes on the website and on your website we as well. And a link to uh, Danielle's website and the book. It is called Soiree. Some terrific ideas for simple entertainment. Thanks. Thank you.